Seasonal tokens can be described as a system of four entangled, Bitcoin-like cryptocurrencies running on the Ethereum virtual machine. Transaction records and the security of the system are handled by the Ethereum network. So the tokens don't need their own blockchain. They are as secure as the Ethereum network. The proof of work required to produce the tokens is independent of the consensus mechanism used by Ethereum to keep track of transactions. The purpose of using proof of work in seasonal tokens is to implement the economic, legal, and social aspects embedded in Bitcoin's design. The tokens are produced by the work of machines, like the products of agriculture or mining. They are not promises or claims on anything else. They are considered commodities under the law. If the tokens were produced at zero cost, and people buy them with the expectation of profits, derived from the efforts of others running a business, they will be like an investment contract. They will be considered securities, like stocks, bonds, or mutual funds which are subject to tighter government regulation. From the social point of view, proof of work permits a fair initial distribution of the tokens. Mining is public and open from the first day to anybody willing to invest the necessary resources. In this way, nobody has an unfair advantage over anybody else. Proof of work is widely used on internet, not just in cryptocurrencies. It is the most efficient solution to protect public computer networks from being abused by some parties. Like sending spam, for example. Proof of work connects the tokens to the real world economy. Miners have to invest in equipment and spend time and energy creating the tokens. In consequence, there is a real cost of production for the tokens, setting a minimum price to sell the tokens to break even. Each seasonal token on its own inherits these properties from Bitcoin's design. But more advantages emerge from the entanglement in time of the four smart contracts. Let's call these financial aspects. Mining effectively converts energy into currency, and this tie to the physical world is a handle to induce predictable oscillations in the relative price of the four tokens. The problem with proof of work is that, when the mining supply of the cheapest token is cut in half, mining that token becomes instantly unprofitable. Investors know in advance that the cheapest token will eventually become the most expensive of the four. They can move the capital from the more expensive tokens, to the cheapest of the four. They effectively finance the mining of the cheapest token, helping miners recover the mining profitability, and in return, they increase the number of tokens they have. Trading tokens for more tokens of a different type, is a winning strategy because, in the long term, all tokens will tend to have the same price. In this way, investors share part of the economic value produced by proof-of-work mining. They earn tokens by helping the mining economy. This collaboration between miners and investors is a more efficient way of producing cryptocurrencies, and it is a unique feature of seasonal tokens design. Check out this video for a more detailed explanation of how this works. Now, you may think that proof of work is a waste of energy and resources. But if you know of a single thing that can provide the legal, social, economic, and financial aspects more efficiently, all at once, let me know in the commentaries below. To learn more about seasonal tokens, please subscribe to our channel. 
click on the bell icon to get new video updates.